फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ क्लिनिकल डेंटिस्ट्री हब आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड इफ यू हैव सीन दीज टाइप ऑफ केसेस इन योर क्लिनिक आई एम थिंकिंग अबाउट टू डू ऑर्थोडोंटिक ट्रीटमेंट इन द फ्यूचर एंड आस्किंग द पेरेंट्स टू वेट एंड वॉच एंड टू सी देर चाइल्ड विद द क्राउडेड टीथ देन दिस वीडियो माइट बी हेल्पफुल टू यू एज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दैट वॉट आर दी ट्रीटमेंट चॉइस इन दीज टाइप ऑफ केसेज इन दीज सीवियर क्राउडिंग केसेज एट द प्रिवेंटिव स्टेजेस वॉट आर द इंडिकेशन हाउ यू विल डायग्नोज दैट केस टू डू द ट्रीटमेंट हाउ यू विल नॉट डू दैट ट्रीटमेंट हाउ इज द कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन ऑफ इट वॉट आर द प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड टू डू वॉट आर द डिफरेंट मैथड एज देर इज नो सिंगल मैथड फॉर दैट इज डिस्क्राइब फॉर एवरी पेशेंट एवरी पेशेंट देर इज डिफरेंट मैथड टू डू डिपेंडिंग ऑन द डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटीरिया सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सीरियल एक्सट्रैक्शन सो यू आर वॉचिंग क्लिनिकल डेंटिस्ट्री हब प्लीज कंटिन्यू टू वॉच द फुल वीडियो सो बेसिकली वेन यू सी अ केस लाइक दिस तो फर्स्ट थिंग I will tell you what is the definition of a serial extraction. So the serial extraction definition was given by Dwell in 1969. He said that serial extraction is an orthodontic treatment procedure that involves the orderly removal of the deciduous as well as the permanent teeth in a predetermined sequence. That means you have to remove amount of deciduous teeth. as well as permanent teeth in a sequence sequence i am going to tell you what are its sequence so basically if you go by the history of these serial extraction cases so so basically there was in 60 it started in 1600 by the passion who said that we need the treatment of extraction has to be done in certain cases so that irregular teeth can be corrected whereas in 1743 bunen said that there certain amount of deciduous tooth has to be move to correct the malolang tooth and in 1929 kajal green was the first person who coined and give it a term termed as a serial extraction whereas in 1940 nance was said to be the father of serial extraction this was the neat mds question in my time in 2018 it was asked the father of serial extraction at that time and then in 1941 hot said said that uh, basically the serial extraction he said it to be the guidance of eruption as when you remove certain amount of teeth the permanent tooth uh, gets its space and it's just guided the space and it gets erupted into its original space so this was all about the history and background of a serial extraction the um, it is most commonly asked in the neat mds examination so uh, talking about what are the clinical criteria how you will see a person and say basically you cannot just see a person and say uh, that you have to do this treatment certain diagnosis is to be done so let us first uh, i am going to tell you the indication in which you have to do these type of treatment that means the clinical clue you will get from these so basically the serial extraction is done in those cases whenever a tooth show that there is a premature loss of deciduous tooth whenever there is arch length discrepancy whenever there is tooth length discrepancies what do you mean by this whenever you see that there is so much crowding in a patient and the arch size is so small that it cannot accommodate all of the teeth so that is what termed as arch size and tooth size discrepancies after that if you see in a patient that the lateral lower lateral incisors they are erupting lingually in that cases you have to do well and then you see that there is unilateral canine loss what happen when there is a loss of a tooth on one side of a face the midline it tends to shift because it gets in space over here and it shift to the that side so in order to prevent these cases uh, serial extraction has to be done and then when you see that incisors are in a flaring up direction and then when you see that there is an ectopic eruption and you see that the canine is erupting in a mesial direction and it is overlapping the lateral incisor that means the space it itself is very low and in these cases you have to go for the serial extraction so these are the clinical clue which means after that you have to go for the opg you have to have a lat uh, lateral cephalogram and then you have to do a cephalometry over it so as to guide what amount of discrepancies is there dental skeletal the soft tissue landmarks and all and then proper cast analysis is done arch parameter analysis caries analysis is done and then it is decided which are the teeth has to be removed and which are all of the teeth has to be maintained 
so after talking about the indication let's just talk about the uh, contraindication in which cases you do not have to do these type of treatment so basically in the cases when you see that there is congenital absence of lower second premolar why because you see that there is congenital absence of lower second premolar second premolar will not erupt this space will be there so these spaces will accommodate by the rest of the teeth so in this cases you do not have to go for it contraindication then you see that when there is an extreme caries of a permanent first molar in severe class 2 and class 3 cases also do not have to do because in these cases there is severe increase in the case of overbite and in crowding cases it is always seen like that only and when you see that there is unilateral absence of the teeth and when you see that there is abnormal tooth size and shape of the tooth is there and then uh, in the cases of cleft lip and palate also do not have to because there is already the discrepancies in the arch length have to go for the arch expansion in that cases also so after that when you see that there is a space dentition already space is already present here so in that cases you will not go for it then you see that there is a case of a mild disproportionation uh, case is there that means mild discrepancies is there which can be corrected by the proximal stripping in that cases you do not have to do so this was all about indication contraindication and definition of serial extraction now there are basic two principle of serial extraction which you have to keep in mind while doing it it says that arch length tooth material discrepancies and the second is physiologic tooth movement so basically in arch length tooth material discrepancies in that he just the writer just wanted to say that whenever your arch length is very less in that cases the tooth size material is very excess in that cases you have to remove a certain amount of tooth so that all other teeth can accommodate and gives a full alignment arch and then it is say, say, said that physiological tooth movement is the second principle of serial extraction why it is that it human basically the human teeth they have a tendency to move toward the extraction space so when you are extracting certain teeth so it the human teeth will be guided and will move towards that space and full alignment of the arch will take place so after this let's just talk about what are the four methods by which you will perform serial extraction in patient talking about the four various method of serial extraction these are tweets method dwells nans and moyers first talk, talk let us first talk about the tweets method so basically the tweets in 1966 he said that at 8 years of age we have to remove all the first deciduous molars all the first deciduous molars are removed at 8 years of age and then after 4 to 10 month we have to extract all first premolar why it is saying to do it after 4 to 10 month because when you extract all first deciduous molar you have to give time so that the permanent premolars starts erupting and its almost roots get completed and always remember that you do not have to extract all first permanent premolar until and unless its crown pierces the alveolar bone so you have to take a radiograph and check this criteria so when you will extract all four permanent first premolar after that along with that you have to extract all four deciduous molar then the canine and incisor will be automatically aligned so the mnemonic to uh, remember this is d as first deciduous molar extracted then permanent premolars d4 and then it is canine c d is for primary first molar a b c d e from that it is d so the second method is by the dwell he said that at 8 to 9 years of age basically he gives a gave a three step technique so he said that at 8 to 9 years of age we have to extract all the deciduous canine c and then we have to wait for one year so that the permanent premolar start erupting and then we have to extract all the deciduous first molar after that the erupting first premolar are extracted that is cd four criteria then canine will be aligned and in the nans method first is it is same as the tweets method that is d four c first deciduous molar is extracted then first premolar then deciduous canine and it will be aligned 
itself and the, there is one more criteria which was given by moyes it is basically in the, those cases whenever you see that the central incisor they are poorly aligned and they are overlapped in that cases you have to extract all the deciduous lateral incisor from a b c d it is b all the deciduous lateral incisors are extracted and after that we have to wait for 7 to 8 month and then all deciduous canine are extracted and then all deciduous first molar and after that all deciduous first premolar are extracted and then the space is provided and the uh, permanent lateral incisor will have a space to erupt into a normal position after this c has been extracted so these are the four criterias that are done for the serial extraction so you have to always have remember this that in which cases you have to perform which type of treatment so now when we talk about these quality of the serial extraction there is some limitation of the serial extraction also there are four limitation of the serial extraction and before telling about the limitation of serial extraction one key point i want to tell that a key point is said it is said that it was said in one of the article which says that if you are extracting the primary tooth before that means if the primary tooth is exfoliated at 6 years of age then permanent tooth erupt and you exfoli and you extract the tooth at 5 and 1/2 years of age at that time the eruption of the permanent tooth will be delayed whereas if you extract the tooth at uh, approx 1/2 years to 2 years before its normal exfoliation time so the eruption uh, of the permanent tooth will be accelerate about the limitation of serial extraction the first limitation of the serial extraction is that when you extract the primary deciduous molar teeth so in that cases the premolars basically there is a time lag between it so uh, whenever there is a delayed eruption of a premolar in that cases the extraction space is already there and it is taking time to erupt so tongue will uh, cause a thrust in that position and will lead to the development of tongue thrust and in future the premolar teeth will not be able to erupt into the occlusal level and the second and the most serious side effect of the limitation of the serial extraction that is seen that there is decreased tendency for the bite to close whenever there there is a extraction of a deciduous teeth not in every cases in few cases these are seen whereas the third limitation of the serial extraction is seen in the case of a facial aesthetic when it is seen as it is said that whenever you always judge a criteria by seeing a straight profile so whenever there is a transition period or a mixed transition period is going on in that cases when you see that there is the uh, lip fullness over there so a slight concave profile is already over there and you see a concave profile and you start judging to go for the serial extraction so always remember that a straight or a concave profile is not a criteria to go for the serial extraction because when you extract certain premolars there is always a tendency to go uh, of a facial aesthetic into a concave profile so you have to consider these point and the fourth and the last limitation of the serial extraction is on the development of a nasal structure basically all the facial structures when their growth is completed but nasal structure growth is not completed at that time on when you go for the extraction of these serial extraction the nasal growth may be hampered in certain cases so all these have to be kept in mind so this was all about the serial extraction in indication contraindication in which cases it is done and what are the criteria as you have to keep in mind while performing a serial extraction cases if you have any problem any question you have in your mind just put it down in the comment section and in the comment section please tell me what other uh, videos you want me to make what are the topics on which i should make video just mention it down in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe because when you like share and subscribe it serve as a motivation to me to make more video on more important content so thank you for now i'm signing it off bye